minutes late. Uh, this is a crazy busy time of year for me. Uh, holidays are busy for our Etsy shops, so I got a little delayed and I uh, truly apologize. I'm going to do my best to keep going with the live streams throughout uh, the next few weeks. Um, I'll probably have to keep them a little bit short, but I have a special request today uh, for uh, someone that requested a a uh, necklace with the name Debbie with beads. So I'm not sure if I fully understood the request. I'm gonna do a beaded necklace, and but I'm also gonna put beads in the letters, which is gonna be super fun. Hi, Amber, you're the first one on. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna flip the screen and just um, uh, pull up the, the video on my uh, chat on my uh, computer so I can see you guys. Hi, Shannon, or it's Sharon, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at my iPad pod and the uh, letters are so small so I'm going to flip the screen bring this around I'm going to actually also put on a light to see if it's going to be a bit better because it's a great day in Montreal so here are the tools I'm going to be using today and you know I'm going to show you my beads just because you guys can have something pretty to look at while I open my computer and then I'm going to turn on my light and see if it's better with the light or without the light so let's just have a look Gonna pull up the live stream. Ba -ba -da -da. Oh, turn off the sound. Yep. Okay, off the sound. There we go. And who have we got? We've got Sharon, Amber, Elizabeth, Pauline. Hello, freaking nuggets. Cute. Hola, hola, and Sue. So let me just see if it's gonna be better with the light. So let's just turn on the light. Is that better or worse? Let me know in the comments if that is better or worse, or maybe I can even lift it up a little bit and see if we can bring it up a little higher and shine it down a little bit more. Might be better. Let's see. Okay, let's try that and see if that's better or worse. So you guys let me know if that looks better or worse. And we're going to see. So who else is here? We've got Corey. Hi, Corey. Hi. Hi, uh, it's Mihaela. Oh, I'm, am I pronouncing that right? I thought it was Michaela, but it's Mihaela. And Kristen, my sister. A W World Peace is my sister, Kristen. Hello. Uh, Zach, Zach, can I call you Zach? That would be easier. Hello. And Ruth and Azar, Christine. La, lots of people here. Awesome, awesome. So let's just keep, let's just go, guys. Let's just do this. And hi, Sharon. How are you? Hi, Paula. We're going to do the name Debbie. I'm going to use artistic wire 20 gauge and I'm going to put beads in it so we are going to use my favorite miracle beads so I also thought about doing using like different shaped beads like oval shapes to, to uh, fit better in the um, for the letters but for today I'm going to try them with round beads so hi Connie hi Blanca nice to see you from Antonio Te San Antonio San Antonio Texas I've been sending orders to Texas today so that's super fun so there we go, and, ba -da -ba -da, and then we're gonna get these ones. I'm just gonna put these to the side. I have four millimeter and six millimeter. We're gonna start with the name Debbie, and then I'm just going to put it on a beaded necklace. This is my crimping tool. I'm gonna use that later. And hi, Tim, nice to see you. Wow, pop on the lives, that's nice to see you. So there we go, and Tim, um, we gotta finish our, our collaboration video. So that's coming up soon. Tim was the winner of the series Live Wires for the Win, and one of the prizes in the series was um, uh, to do a collaboration video on my channel, so I'm excited about that. Uh, perfect, glad, glad you're watching, Sharon. That's awesome. So let's just open up some wire. I'm not quite sure how much we're gonna need. I'll cut about 12 inches of wire. I don't wanna make it too, too big. Pauline, have you ever done anything with the chips? Do you mean stone chips? Because I do have a few videos where I've made rings and things with stone chips. Uh, I think that's what you're talking about. So let's just go ahead and um, I think for the D, we'll just, this is where, this is where I'm really not sure what I'm doing because I actually didn't even sketch it out. So why don't we, let me just get a little piece of paper. Can I do it on this? Let me just see. Uh, yeah, this is some scratchy notes. I can just put this on the back of this and I am going to get a pencil and just try it like this. So there we go. So what, so Debbie would be something like this, right? So this, I forget how I attach this, but we're going to go like, like this. So I thought I'd put a bead in here 
and then a bead in here, and then a bead up here, and then a little, I'm just gonna do round beads for now. Like I said, I could do, I could do um, oval beads, but I'm not sure I have anything. It's just here, I might have to do a bigger bead. So let's, let's see what we could do with that. And I will get a bigger bead for the D. So let's just see. Oh, I'm winging it today, all right. Oh my goodness, yes, definitely winging it. So let us just start by sticking this one in here. Then we could have something to hang it on there. I don't know how big this has to be. Um, but I'm gonna, which way do I wanna do it? We're gonna bring it around here. And yeah, I love winging it. That's, that's my favorite thing to do. So we're gonna bring this one around here and try to make it somewhat look like a D. So we're gonna bring that here and we can maybe look at, make it look a little fancy. I'm gonna get my round pliers. Uh, hello, Azar. Now let's just do, I'm just gonna do a little loop here, see what we're doing. Oh, I should have maybe done something different with this loop, but I'm gonna just see. So we're gonna bring this one down here, bring it straight down so it looks a little bit, these are prototypes. I'm actually gonna do a video where I do all the letters of the alphabet, not all with the beads, but as many as I can with the beads would be cool. So if we just bring this here, and this one maybe, around to the front or back, I'm not sure. Oh, well, there goes my neighbor with his leaf blower, so we're gonna get some noise. So if we do something like that, it might not be super well attached, but it's just it's just a prototype, like I said. I like when you guys are on the ground floor of these designs. Lori says, good morning from California. Awesome, very nice. Oh, wouldn't mind to go to California one day soon because it's starting to get really chilly here in Montreal. So now we're gonna, they're actually announcing freezing rain. So we're just holding it tight for that. So there we go, we've got that. And then we're going to put a, this is for the E, let's try a four millimeter bead. So Leticia, nice, gracias. I wish I spoke Spanish. I have people asking me to, to translate my videos in Spanish, but I do not speak Spanish. So if anybody wants to volunteer to help me translate my videos, uh, send me a send me a message. Send me a, a a DM or something. So now let's see what we could do to get this in place. If we just maybe wrap this around, okay, we're gonna wrap this around and try to secure it to make the E. So if we have something like this, I don't know if I have to wrap it around again. Let me just see. I was gonna wrap it around again, but now I'm wondering if we even have to wrap it around again. If that one's sharp enough, it might hold in place. I don't know, I was gonna do it just, let me try to wrap it around again. It's might, you know what, I think it's gonna to be too much if I do. Let's just try it like this and see. So it might not look like an E, but we're gonna try it. So uh, now let's go and do, ba -do, ba -do. this one, we're gonna just bend this one up. There we go, so we're gonna bend this one up and and I don't think Mustafa is going to be on the live stream today because it's very, very late. Usually Mustafa is in here with Amber, uh, just you know, moderating comments and uh, and helping me out. But I think pretty sure Mustafa is asleep right now because it's I'm late. So I'm really sorry I'm late today, guys. So this is a somewhat looks like an E. It's not perfect. So let's do the B. So we're going to bring this one around here. And, but you can also see my playlist of tutorials that are have the regular letters with no beads. If you want to just make regular wire letters, that's no problem. But the purpose of these live streams is just to troubleshoot these new ideas. So this is the first part of the B. And to get the bead in there, we're going to have to bend this one straight up. Okay, so straight up here. And we're going to put a six millimeter bead on there. So let's put a six millimeter bead on here. And let me know in the comments if you've done these wire letters before because uh, they're super fun to do. And uh, I'd be curious to know how many people have uh, done wire names and letters. I know a bunch of people in the Wire Makers Club have done them. And um, yeah, I have a whole bunch of tutorials if you guys wanna learn how to do the basic ones. So this is how it would look without winding the wire on it. It's kind of cute. And then if we wind it around, we're just gonna wind it around here. 11, 16 a.m. That's right, it's earlier in the um, in your time zone. So there we go. Now I'm a little worried I'm gonna run out of wire, but that looks cute. I really like that. So let's do another B. 
So we're going to bring this one up. I wonder if Debbie's going to hop on the uh, live stream. This isn't Debbie from the Wire Makers Club that requested this. This was somebody else, and I'm really sorry I forget the name of the person that asked for this, but uh, but it's a great idea. And I, like I said, I don't even know if this is what she had in mind, she or he had in mind. It was um, to do a beaded Debbie necklace. So after this, we'll put it on a tiger tail cord and bead it. So let's just bring this one down a little bit more. There we go. Hi, Gaylin. Nice to see you. I've done short words with one bead. Cool. That's awesome. Very nice. So there we go. So let's just bring this one across to make the other B. This is kind of funky. I mean, it's going to be a little bit hard to read. And I just remembered I did do one word with it with beads before. I did a ring that said aloha. And there are beads in the in the ring, in the in the letters of the aloha. I totally forgot that. So if you want to like search my channel. There is a search bar you can search and find. If you look up Aloha Ring, you will see how I did some of the letters quite small with beads in them to uh, to do uh, a ring. So here's what would look like sort of Debbie. This one got a little bit short. Um, let me just see my flat pliers. Connie, I've never considered doing words with beads. It's interesting, eh? We're just going to wing it and see how it goes and like I said if it if it goes pretty good I'll try to do the whole alphabet although there's some letters like N and M that aren't really suitable to do with beads this is funky I like it you guys have the best ideas so there we go uh you're lagging I don't know it let me know in the comments if anybody else has some trouble is having trouble with the video uh I don't see anything happening on my end but you guys can let Sharon know if you're if the video is lagging hi Clarice nice to see you so let's go ahead now and put the put a bead on there so now we would need for the eye we would need a four millimeter bead and we want it to stay up here so what we would have to do is bend it. What I'll do first is just help the bend with my pliers. So I'm just going to push that there and just help it out with the pliers. Uh, Kristen says, all good. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, so um, yeah, my Kristen is my sister. And my sister and I actually do art together once a week on Zoom, which is super fun. And you can see some of the projects that I've been working on with the Zoom calls in my art channel. That's the Heather Boyd art channel. That's just a hobby channel. I just have fun with it. I post random art videos. And so if anybody's interested in art, uh, you can definitely check out that channel. So now see what I'm doing. I'm just putting this to the back for the eye and that's just to hold it in place otherwise the beads gonna fall down so we have it that way and then now we want to do the other E so let's just bring this one across here there we go okay so that one is across there I did it's ended up being a little bit close to the B but maybe I can move it over a little bit yeah yeah see I can just pull it maybe pull it out a little bit without breaking the wire hopefully that's pretty good. Let's just fix that up a bit. Yeah, sometimes you, there's little quick fixes you can do. Yeah, that works pretty good. I like that. So now let's do the E. The, the D ended up being a little bit short, but because of the size of the bead, I didn't make it too, too big. So this is where you might want to have an oval-shaped bead to make it more elongated. Uh, you're lagging. Okay. Okay. There we go. Fine. V video's good. Okay, cool. So there we go. So let's just bring this one up and do the last E and hope we don't run out of wire. Oh, it's getting tight. So I will definitely not be doing a heart at the end of this uh, design. And now to make a sharper bend, let's use our flat pliers to get the bend sharp because the sharper the bend is, the less likely the bead is to come around the corner. So let's go ahead. Uh, okay, so let's just go ahead and add this bead and I'm going to wrap this around. So there we go. So we're going to bring this one here and just bring that one around the top. So we're going to bring that one around here and pull that one around and then I have to figure out how I'm going to hang this up because I usually have a little extra wire 
that I could make a loop with, but I don't think I do in this case. So we're gonna bring that one there. And I think rather than wrap it around, uh, I'll try it maybe after because I don't want to like ruin that and ruin the design because it's very similar to that. So we're just going to go around, around here and finish the E. So let's just finish the E and around here and up. And there we go. So now we have to just figure out how to hang it up because we want to hang it. Well, this one got a little bent, so let's just fix this one up a little bit. But it looks not too bad. You can see the name Debbie. It's The beads are a little bit distracting, but it's kind of interesting. So what we could do is you could actually hang it from here if you don't want to use this. So if you wanted just to get rid of this wire, uh, I think what we'd have to do is bring it around like around here, maybe around here, or that way. I think we'll bring it around here. We're just bringing it to the back, if you're wondering. So there we go. Uh, two necklaces I've made in two different colors of seed beads. Okay, that's cool, yeah. Um, seed beads are great for necklaces. I'm going to uh, just use a variety of beads to uh, to put on the necklace wire after, and but seed beads are great for that. So let's go ahead and take this end, see this end, I think if we're just gonna clip it off, I was gonna try to wrap it around, but I think for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna clip it off. So we're just gonna take this one here and just give it a little clip. There we go, perfect. There we go, and there, and so that is that. So those are done, that side's done. So now we just have to figure out how we're gonna hang up this side and we really do need some kind of loop normally what i would do is like some kind of heart on the end but because i've run out of um wire i'm not going to be able to do a heart so let's just bring this one around here i think we're just going to like curve it up maybe something like that and then i'll just do a loop because otherwise i'm just i don't have enough wire to do anything so i'm just going to take this bring it around sort of at the same height as that one, if I can. So we're just gonna bring it around there. That's pretty good. Maybe a little bit more. So at the same level, and then we're gonna clip it. And after that, we're just gonna make the, we're gonna make the, um, the necklace wire. So let's just pinch that down. So there's Debbie with a little extra bit there. It's kind of funky, I like it. Uh, I'm gonna try the E again, just for kicks, and see if we could do it slightly different. So just to try a different way to do the E, uh, what if we just bring it up here, uh, just, just to see if it's gonna work. So we're gonna bring it up here, bend this at a bit of an angle, there, and then put this one again, uh, oh, closer to the screen, Lori says. Okay, this is incredible. Thank you, Amber. So here you go. Here's the, and what I always do is after the live stream, I will post a picture in the community section and also in the Discord group in the post live stream section. So you'll be able to get a closer, better look at how it looks. And, um, and then what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to do the whole alphabet with, with letters, maybe. No, maybe not the whole alphabet. I don't know if I could do an M and an N, but I definitely want to try it uh, to see how it goes. So now what I'm going to do is try to wrap that for the E this time. But what I'll do is I'll wrap it to the back first. So we're just going to wrap it to the back first. Okay, wrap it around. Push it in. You'll see my hands are a little worse for wear. I've been working a lot, and so my hands are a little bit worn out these days, but that's the nature of the biz. So now we're going to bring this one down. See, this I'm not sure, so I'm liking the way it's looking like that, but we're gonna check and compare. So there we go. Uh, hi, Anne. N uh, new ideas for us newbies, thank you. Yay, that's awesome. Well, if you're new to wire art and you do wanna do uh, letters and words, wire letters and words, I have a whole playlist of, of, of tutorials that you can use uh, to do that because uh, this one, this is a little more complicated doing it with beads, but if you want to do them just plain wire, they're much, much easier. So if we go like this, bring this one up here, and then usually for the E, I'll just give it a little bend, depending on what letter comes after the E. 
So that's how it would look like wrapped. And this is how the E would look not wrapped around. So they're both interesting. You could put a little bead in the beginning of the end and M. Yes, that's a, that's a good idea. I was thinking about possibly doing something like that. Let's draw it out and see. And um, because what I was going to do was, I don't know if it's going to work because the bead might be big, but I thought if you put the bead there uh, and then, how would we do this? So we go, wait, if I'm doing an M, so you'd have to like come up, say, so you had like another letter there. I don't know what letter. And then you went like back that way, put a bead, and then mm, maybe just bring that to the back and then like that, that. Why don't we try it? Why don't we try that just to, just to have, see if it's going to work. And I'm actually gonna get some different wire because I don't have very much of this one left and I don't wanna use it all up. So I'm going to use this one, which is a craft wire from Michaels, and let's try the M. Actually, this is gonna be stiff. No, I don't wanna use that, it's too stiff. Let's get a softer wire and see what we can do. Maybe this one's not so stiff. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Okay, let's try this one. This is from Michaels, 20 gauge, and, or at the end, okay, at the end. Oh, what a, this is this is when I need someone to like draw a picture and send it to me. You can actually post. If you guys ever want, you can post pictures in the post live stream se section of Discord, and I can. Um, if you want to show me pictures of work that you're doing related to the live stream, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the link, and post it in the. Uh, chat and then if you guys have a image you want if you're trying to explain to something to me and I don't understand it you could s put a picture in the discord group in the post live stream section so let me just copy the invitation okay so I'm gonna just write here uh, discord and you would put it in the post live streams section and I'm gonna pin that at the top you're late for the party you're not that late Angela because I was one minute uh, one hour and seven minutes late so you're actually not that late so there's the I've pinned the link to the discord group if you're trying to explain something to me and I'm not catching on post it let me know you've posted it and I'll open up the post live stream section and have a look at what you mean so but in the meantime let's do try to do the M so we're gonna bring this one up this wire isn't that soft. And what if I just tried it this way just to see? Yeah, it's tricky with the M and the M, and you can't make them too small either because the beads are like, I don't know, this is a two millimeter, four millimeter bead. I'd have to get like a two or a, f two or a three millimeter bead maybe to do. So if we put this one here and then bend this to the back, okay, we're just gonna bend it to the back here, see what it's gonna do round okay so that's here so that way there's there's a bead there which is kind of cool and then let's just pinch this out boy what would you do without fingernails I'm not sure and then we're going to bend this one up uh yeah Angela's not so late because I was late so and I'm not going to stay too long this today just because I do it's a busy day for me but I wanted to at least get this project done. So there we go. So this is gonna be the beginning of the M. I think if we had a smaller bead, it would be more appropriate. So let's do this and that. But this is just to give you an idea. So what if we did, ooh, it looks a little, it looks a little odd, but you know, you have to try before you figure it out. So let me just move this one up a bit. And then this one you can, like just a little bit, and then maybe bring this one down a little bit. So this would be like sort of an M thing. Looks a little funny. I'm not sure it's necessary. Like if you're doing a whole word, I wouldn't say you have to do that. I mean, I've definitely done pendants where you put the, you put a bead at the top and you dangle it, which is nice. But for the words, I'm thinking maybe not. You guys let me know your feedback on that. Um, looks a little odd to me, but, and it would be, it would get in the way of the previous letter. So that's the problem. I mean, the other thing is we could, let's just see. 
but then it's not going to look like an M anymore. That's the problem. So uh, the other way I've done, usually I do the M's. I just like go up like that. Maybe bend that back a bit. And then I would just like bring this one down. Bend this a little bit more. I used to do the my letters with like a little loop there. And I've kind of like, every I change it up sometimes. It's not, I don't always do it the same way. But see, usually I do the M something like this. Okay, and around like this, okay, and there. So that's how I usually do the M, something like that. But if you're gonna put beads in it, I think it's gonna look a little bit strange. If we stick that one there. This one has to be, a, well, these have to be a little wider, I think. Okay, we're gonna go in there, and this one in there. Bring that one down. But this is how we learn, right? So we just play around with it and then try to figure it out. So if we have something like that, it's getting a little bro broken up there. So, But if we put beads in there, I think it's gonna look a little, send the beads straight up. Okay, so so let's, tr we could try that. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna find miracle beads all over my floor. So there's one and that one, but then it doesn't super look like an M anymore. It looks like an owl. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put that there and that way there, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. That one doesn't wanna stay there. So, um, so anyways, you guys can just see how it looks. So you have an idea, it's, it looks so cute. It looks like a little owl. Okay, whoa, it's not staying in place. But there's that. It doesn't wanna hold in place or there's that one. So if we stick, you say stick it straight up, Corey, we can try that. So let's remove those guys. Perfect. Mustafa and Peggy are present. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't see them. Hi, Mustafa and hi, Peggy. I did not see them. And hi, hi, Dean. I'm missing comments, that's why. And Anne, did I say hi to Anne? I think I did. Um, so yeah, so these are the Zuron pliers. Um, and then these are beetle-on cutters. So, um, and then, these are old ones that you can't even buy anymore. But uh, yeah, sorry guys, if I miss that you guys are here, just please tell me because I don't, sometimes I miss the comments when I'm in the middle of working on stuff. So there's that. If we bent that straight up, I'm not quite sure what it would do, but at some point my wire is gonna break. So anyways, we could definitely play around with those. If you guys have ideas, post them in the, um, in the Discord group. I'm gonna get my findings to do the beaded necklace and then I have to skedaddle. So here is my tiger tail. These are my crimps. I have some metal beads. I have uh, jump rings and I have my split rings that I use for a clasp. Uh, no, neither are here. Oh, you're asking me a question. Oh, I'm sorry, Clarice. I thought you said, I thought you said they are here. No, no, they're not here. No, no, they're not, uh, as far as I know. So I didn't miss, I didn't miss anything. So that's good. Thanks, Amber. I wasn't quite sure uh, if they were here or not. So here's a class. And then I have these, um, oops. I have these lobster class that I use for the necklace. So I have one of these. I'll get a lobster class. This one's stainless steel. And so we're gonna remove those. And then what I'm gonna do is cut. I usually make necklaces about, I don't know, uh, uh, 17 inches. So if I cut two of these that are eight inches, and then that, that piece is gonna be in the middle. So that should be good. So I'm gonna cut two pieces of tiger tail, eight inches long. And there we go. And cut that guy, perfect. And then, so this is where the beaded name necklace comes in. Uh, you can put them on a chain as well, that's no problem. So I'm gonna need uh, one, two, three, four crimps, I think. And so we've got four crimps, and then we have jump rings. So, oh, you guys can't see that. So let's bring those in. And then we're gonna have two jump rings. And I've got a bunch of beads handy. Let me just get some, I like these faceted beads. I find them really pretty. And then I have, of course, my miracle beads and stuff too. So what we're going to do first is take our piece, 
put a jump ring on either side. Uh, la la la, there we go. We are going to open this one up. Okay, we'll just open this one up and we're going to put this one on here. And how would you shape it a Z? So how I would shape a Z, I would just, um, uh, I'll link up the playlist actually for that because I have all the letters in a full playlist. I have a capital and lowercase letters and I'll, I'll link those up in the description of the video. You can search my channel too for any letter or name um, tutorials. And so Peggy is here. Peggy is here now. Hi, Peggy. Perfect. And Zach would say, yeah, the, how do you shape a Z? Yeah, I'll link up the tutorials for that. And da, 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 da. perfect. So now let us attach these. So what I'm going to do is just take my tiger tail. I'm going to put this one in here. And then I'm going to put it in the jump ring. And we're going to use the crimping tools. So these are the Zeron crimping tools. They're actually the best crimping tools I've found so far. Uh, some crimping tools aren't as good as others. So then you just take the tiger tail, bring it back through the crimp. This might be tricky because I have to be able to get close enough to see it. So stick it back through the crimp. And then you want to go to that area that has the, the little pointy part. And we're just going to stick it in that little ditch. Make sure these aren't sticking out too much. And then you give it a pinch. So we pinch it and you'll see it bends the crimp. Okay, it bends the crimp. And then you take it these, one of the shorter, like the littler ditches. That is where um, they have those different sizes for two, three and four millimeter crimps. And you just stick it in there and then you pinch it and it pinches it closed. So it's really a great, great tool. Works really well. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. And we are going to stick that one in here. And now we are going to put this one in here and put that there and bring it back through the crimp. Okay, we're gonna bring it back through the crimp. And I'm going to take this and give it a pinch. So it's in the ditch there, we're gonna pinch it and now, oh, I pinched it a little bit crooked. I don't know if this is going to work as well, but I, I wasn't at a good angle, so I didn't pinch it super well, but I think it's still going to close up. So we're going to pinch that one up. Yeah, this crimp got a little crooked, but, you know, I could redo it or I could just leave it. It's fine. So now there is, we have the tiger tail on either side. Like I said, you can put it on a chain. It's no problem. And then if you want to add beads, I'm going to just get some of these beads. Looks pretty. Thank you so much. So now we're going to put this one in here and then we can just start adding other beads. So I'm going to put the, I'm going to mimic the beads that are there, but I also like to interspace with some metal beads. So let's go ahead and see what metal beads I have. Okay, so now we are going to put these ones on here and let's put this one on here and we're going to keep going with the beads so let me just keep going and there we go uh this one here and maybe another little faceted bead actually let's alternate them we're going to go like that that and that I like sort of mixing the faceted clear beads with the miracle beads. I think they look really pretty. So we can go like that. And then, you know, you can keep adding more as you like. I don't have a lot of pink beads. I'm a little restricted. Although, you know what? I have some. Let me see if I can find them. I had some pink ones, um, cat's eye beads that might be good. The cat's eyes are quite pretty. Let me add some cat's eye beads in there. So I'm going to put this one here and then I'm going to put the cat's eye bead there okay and then I'm going to put this one and maybe I'll put another large miracle bead okay uh, could you do the name as a drop down also uh, do you mean like vertical or just like hanging below the necklace 
because uh, yeah, I mean, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna I'll just remove this. I get a little picky with my bead choices. So I'm going to actually put this one here just to make it, to space out the um, faceted one a little bit. We're gonna put that one there and then we can, yeah, this is where I get really indecisive. So we're gonna put this one here and another one and then this one. Okay, and maybe I'll do another, I've got a lot of these metal beads. Maybe I'll do another one of those. Um, would, would make attaching the chain easy. Vertical, like the word up and down? Yeah, I mean, it's a great idea. You could definitely try that. I think the only time I did that was I did a necklace, the dependent thing that said BTS. That was a special request for somebody like that likes that musical group. And it was uh, three letters and they were done vertical. So that was really cute. So it might be a little difficult to attach the letters together, but I, I think it's a great idea. So now we're gonna add another crimp to hold it in place. And we'll just take these again and do the same thing with the crimp. Just bend it and then bring it in here and cl close it. And then we're gonna do this side. So we'll just mimic the same beading on this side. The second side is easier. That is, if as long as I have more faceted beads, I don't wanna run out of beads. So we're just going to do that. So, oh, that I picked up the wrong color. So we've got, we're gonna put another faceted bead. And yeah, I like that option. I think it's cool. Yeah, decisions, decisions. You're uh, choosing beads is the hardest. So now we're gonna do the miracle bead and then metal and then the cat's eye and the small miracle bead. Um, ba -da -ba -da. And then this one, make sure I'm keeping my pattern. Ooh, that one looks like a bit of a dud. So we're gonna take that one off and we're gonna put that one. So uh, one to that and then the Larger miracle bead, six millimeter actually. And then we need another faceted bead. So we're gonna put the faceted bead and da, 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 another metal one. Then the four millimeter miracle bead and then one more four millimeter cat's eye bead. Perfect. And there we go. Loving the tones. Thank you. Thanks, Amber. Yeah, it's kind of nice to mix the different colors of pink. So if any, if any um, anybody likes pink, this is kind of a nice combination. I'll just hopefully I didn't do any mistakes with the uh, pattern. And then I'm going to get my uh, little crimps. So we'll just need, we'll actually need three more because we have to do the ends too. So we're going to stick one on this side and then we're going to attach the... Um, uh, the clasp and then it'll be done. So now same thing, we're gonna stick it in that little end there, it has like a little ditch, try to hold it straight and then rotate it uh, 45 degrees or not 45, 90 degrees, I guess, and then pinch it. So there we've got that. And so now we wanna add the hook or the lobster clasp. So same thing, you put it in first, we're gonna put that one in there and then you put the lobster clasp. Uh, if you can't see well on this live stream, I do have a tutorial where I make necklaces with this tiger tail that will show you a little more clearly how to do this. Actually, my one, some of them are older and I didn't have the proper crimpers, but my newer videos, I actually had the proper crimping tools, so I was able to do it properly uh, because I used to just crimp these with flat pliers, but I got called out a couple of times that people were like, oh, you can't do it with flat pliers because they'll slip out or whatever. And it's like, well, at the time I didn't have the crimpers, so I just did flat pliers and they were they were fine. But if you have a heavy necklace, for sure you want to use proper crimping uh, tools. So there we go. I would watch your tutorials for hours. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I have a lot. Oh, no, why did I put two crimps on there? So uh, yeah, I have a lot of tutorials, but um, I try to keep to three times a week. So Saturday is my regular video. Uh, 
Wednesday's the live stream and Tuesday is Tip Tuesday, which is really fun. This week was fun. I, I had bought uh, the little booklet from the Beetle on site on how to make a wire wrapped cabochon. That was uh, Wyatt White made a little booklet. And I wanted just to, you know, support him and buy something from the website. So I uh, I bought the booklet and um, trouble kind of troubleshoot figuring it out. I didn't do great with the instructions, but um, I kind of did my own version of it because I ran out of wire. But it's a really fun uh, tutorial that was on Tuesday. Oh, I'm going to sneeze, guys. Oh, something up my nose. Mm. It's gone. Okay, good. So there we go. So here we go. And then sometimes, let me find it. I add, when I sell necklaces, I add a extension chain because sometimes if it's people are giving it as a gift, uh, they want to be able to catch up on my videos. <laughs> Yay. Oh, well, thank you guys for doing the, going to the trouble to do that because some of the older ones aren't great quality, but there is good content, you know, definitely good design ideas. Uh, just some of my filming in my earlier videos were done on my iPod and they're not super clear, but if ever there's you have troubles like understanding something or whatever, I'm very happy to do a little sketch or um, try to do another video if there's something specific you want me to show you how to do. So now here's a little extension chain. This is, um, this split ring is just like a key ring that you can just like slide it on there. So that's really good. And then it gives people a little leeway if they want a little extra chain. So, Nelly bless you. <laughs> Sweet. So now, have you ever made a stone bracelet, necklace, and earring set? Well, I've done them separately. I've done. I don't know if I've done an actual set, but that's a great idea, Sharon. Maybe maybe a video showing an entire set would be super cool. So there we go, guys. So this is it. Let me bring it closer so you can see. It actually turned out pretty well. It's a little hard to read that it's Debbie. But if it's a Debbie that's wearing it, she will know it's her name. So let me know what you think of the beaded letters. I'm going to flip my screen and say a goodbye. I'm going to turn off my massive light because it's a little too bright. I'll just flip the screen. There we go. Perfect. So there we are, guys. So thank you so much for hopping on. This was a quick video. I'm going to move this out of the way. This, If you're wondering what this is, this is my box light. It's hard to tell what it is, but this is what I use for filming videos. So fantastic. Thank you so much, Amber. Loving your beaded letters. Yay, I'm so happy. So they're they're a yay rather than a nay. I'm so happy. Uh, and uh, I will post a good picture of this in on Discord in the post live stream section. And I'm going to do a tutorial where I just do all the letters. I'll just wing it. I'm not going to practice them. I'll just film it. If I make mistakes, I can edit it. And um, thank you guys so much for hopping on. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, your evening. And uh, there's Kristen, love it. So glad to catch you live. That was awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hang it out. That's my sister. And Sharon says, very cool. Yay, that's awesome. Fantastic. So guys, we will see you soon. And I wish you a lovely evening and or afternoon. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Be, oh, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button because it does help my channel um, get more uh, uh, views, which is awesome to spread the word and get people into the Wire Makers Club, which is super fun. And we'll see you the next time. Oh, bye, Jeanette. I just saw you now. Okay, bye.